So from that action, step three here, create a definition of the value. So I'm looking at what this person did. This is external to me, but I admire this, right? It speaks to me, it resonates. And so I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, what, what is the definition of courage then if this is courage? Well, I might say something like, well, courage is when I take a risk to myself for the good of others. That might be the courageous thing to do. When I do what's best, not just for me, but for everybody, even though it's scary. So now I've got this, this definition. And now, number four, I'm going to brainstorm specific actions that I can take to embody the value. So what are ways I can do that? What are ways I can embody courage? Well, I could speak up for those who don't have a voice. That might be one thing I could do very specifically. And I might even get more specific. What's a specific group that doesn't have a voice? Well, maybe, thankfully this is changing in my field, but there was a time when betrayed partners were very likely to be labeled as co-addicts or codependents or something like that, rather than being recognized as being traumatized. Well, I can advocate, I can be courageous. Even if, if a colleague is going to think, oh, well, he's one of those or whatever, I can speak up. I can speak to that. That might be one way. And I want to come up with with several, I want to come up with three or four or five specific ways, thinking through how it would be put into action. And then number five, every day, act intentionally and specifically on every core value. So you, you don't necessarily do this forever for the rest of your life, but if you're actually intent, with intention doing core values work, then for a period of a few weeks, you might have this daily review of your core values and you ask yourself, how have I been courageous today? Or how am I going to be courageous today? You can do it looking ahead or you can do it in review. How am I going to do this and, and make plans or review and, and maybe make corrections if needed to act on those. And so you're doing it on purpose with intention. There are probably ways you're acting on your core values without intention because sometimes we, we do that, but where it really matters is when you do it on purpose, because those are the moments when there's probably another part of you that would choose otherwise. And so when you take the risk and you do it in that moment, that's where the real change at that deep level, even down to the level of your neural pathways begins to happen.